again everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Crystal. Nice to meet you. In today's video, I am going to be doing, I think this is the first time I've done this, I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I don't think I've done one of these before. If I have, it's been probably years because I seriously don't remember getting everything together like I do now and doing a full face of first impressions. And because I'm kind of on a time crunch, I'm gonna go ahead and get started without jabbering a whole lot. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is obviously the foundation. Um, sometimes I do my eyes first, but I'm not working with a loose pigment today, so I am going to do my foundation first. And I was just gonna use a normal beauty blender, which is what I normally use on a day-to-day -day basis, but since I have the Morphe Jeffree Star beauty sponges, I'm going to be trying that for the first time. Because I might as well go with the theme. I'm going to go dampen these with water and I'll be right back. All right, I dampened my sponges and now I'm going to try out the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Found uh, Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Um, I bought this when it first came out. I want to say it was like a few months ago, and I may have been tanner then, so I don't rem I don't really remember. Well, that might be close. I figured it was gonna be dark on me, but maybe I was thinking ahead and I got the light one. Who knows? All right, we're gonna try it out. I haven't read any reviews on this or watched any reviews on this foundation because I have not been watching a whole lot of YouTube lately, but aside from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, um, this is weird. It comes out, which I guess is nice if you're like towards the end. Did I open it wrong? Maybe I opened it wrong. Is there a wrong way to open it? Hey guys, editing Crystal here. I just wanted to hop on real quick, even though this is super unprofessional, as some people say. Um, I just want to let you know that I did figure out if I would have just popped off the top, it has a pump. So the application shouldn't have been as special as it was in this video. I just was a dumbass and wasn't thinking. So there's that. All right, back to the video. I don't know. All right, I'm just going to put it on my face. I know people are probably cringing, like, don't put the wand on your face, but I don't care. All right, that should be good, right? That's enough? Is that enough? Sure. Yeah, I don't really like, I don't really like the packaging. That kind of, I would rather have a pump, I think. And then when I get to the end of it, I can just kind of shake it out the end. So that's, I don't know, that's just weird to me. All right, I am going to use the rounded side because I normally do. I feel like this would be good, the flat side. Would be good for getting right up underneath your eyes. But then again, I have a small one for doing that. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking too much already. And shit, I do not have a mirror. Un momento. Okay, I've got the uh, mini gel breaker or mini breaker palette. I'm not gonna use that because I've already used it before, but I'm just using it for the mirror, just for reference, so you guys know. Oh, look at me, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm using the flat side. I wasn't going to, but it just happened naturally. I may have went too ham on my face with this foundation. It spreads very nicely. It's got a weird smell. Or is that the sponge? Oh, it does. It's. Oh, what does it remind me of? Paint? Yeah, like latex paint. Well, I guess I am kind of painting my face. So it's a little lighter. <laughs> than what I currently am, which is weird. I thought I was pretty pale. Always bring it down your neck. Okay, I think I beat my face as much as I possibly can and wow, I'm looking ghostly. But I can fix it with bronzer or contour or whatever, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll see. This might be a disaster already. But the foundation, I mean, it looks good. The, the coverage, I would say, is medium. It's not quite full. I can still see my freckles and, you know, blemishes, dark spots. That's, I can still see that through the foundation up close, but, I mean, far away, not so much. I would say medium foundation, medium coverage foundation. Okay, now I am going to try concealer. What concealer do I have? Do I have concealer? I do have concealer. I am going to try the ColourPop No Filter count counselor Concealer. I have not tried this. It's been out for a while. I think, I think people like this, if I'm remembering correctly. Now hopefully this is light. Oh yeah, definitely lighter than my already light face. And I am going to put it under my eyes, maybe down my nose. Um, 
and I will use it as a base for my eyeshadow. And if you've watched for any length of time, you know that I don't like a whole lot of concealer. Like I'll, I know people on YouTube and Instagram go like really thick with concealer all over their face. I am not young, so I do not do that. The less product you have on your face, the better. For aging skin. I hate that. Okay, wow, yeah. That's, that's some damn good concealer, holy crap. I'm not going to put it on my eyelids just yet because I do have a cream bronzer, which I'm not so sure about. Um to contour, so I'm going to do my eyes after I get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with bronzer for our contour. For contour, I have the Huda Beauty um, Tantor Contour and Brow Contour and Bronzer Cream. Wow, I look scary. <laughs> Sorry. All right, this is a cream contour, and I just got this mm, a couple weeks ago. So this is what the package looks like. It's a twist off lid and clearly has not been used before. Tan and tone. Well, I could use some tanning and some toning. And that's what she looks like. I don't know, do I want to use a brush or do I use the... this. Sponge. Let's use a sponge. Mm. I'm just gonna dip in with the pointy end. The rounded pointy end, if that makes any sense at all. And I've got a little bit on there, and hopefully this doesn't look terrible. I do, I have tried, ooh, oh my goodness, okay, that's a lot. Um, for contour, I do the standard, like, normally people do like a three or whatever, I just do up here. Um, sometimes I'll do along my jawline if I feel like my face is looking extra fat. But I mean, I'm just really ghostly right now, so maybe I should do it anyway. Um, with cream contours or cream bronzers, I do like that. I usually use a powder, but I do like the cream ones just because they blend out really well, usually. This one is just doing beautifully. I do like this one. This might be my new daily. I don't know how bad it looks on there, but it looks pretty good here. Although, yeah, it's blending pretty well with the concealer and foundation. Yeah, I'm me likey. And for this, I'm just going like right underneath my cheekbones where your natural contour should be if I wasn't overweight. My husband see this, he's gonna yell at me. Not really, but he hates when I talk like that about myself. I gotta stop looking in that viewfinder. I look so scary. While I'm doing this, I have a question. Does anybody follow like the beauty drama on YouTube? Like all the scandals and everything that happens? Cause my, my sister-in-law is the only person I know that is now following all that drama. And it's so, I don't know. Maybe I have no life because I like talking about it and you know, hearing about it from other people. But do you watch that stuff? Do you like, like tea spill and you know, the, the well, I guess there hasn't been a whole lot recently with drama cha drama channels, but do you guys watch that stuff? Because if so, maybe I should create like a Facebook group or something. We can all chit chat about the drama. It's like gossip. Or is that petty? Is that petty to make a Facebook group to talk about? Probably is. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to... Jesus. I look so scary. I'm sorry that if you're watching this, if you made it this far and you're still watching, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer and go along the sides of my nose. Try, anyway. Maybe I should use a smaller sponge. Oh God. Clearly I don't use this for, or any cream bronzers for my nose because I have no idea what I'm doing here. Sure. Yeah, good, fine. All right, I am going to, what am I gonna do? Probably powder my face, because I look terrifying. The concealer has already started to crease, which is normal for a concealer under my eyes. 
So I'm going to set that with the Fenty Beauty Butter setting powder. I have had this for a long time. Again, have not used it. Um, I opened it up and that's about as far as I got with it because I have been using, um, I was losing, losing, I was using Laura Mercier setting powder and then when Jeffree Star came out with his, I, of course I bought his and I've been using that one ever since. So I haven't had a chance to give this a try or I have had, but I just haven't because I chose not to for whatever reason. So I am just going to take a little bit of that on my small sponge, tap off the excess, and I'm going to press that into my under eye. Now if you have really crepey under eyes, like I sometimes do, I would not recommend this on a daily basis, but because I'm just doing this for the video, <laughs> I don't care because I'm going to wash it off after anyway. Although with, with Jeffree Star's um, concealer and setting powder, I honestly find that using that, it doesn't make me look as dry under my eyes and doesn't show off the lines as much as with an other, any other setting powder that I've used. But maybe this one will be life changing, who knows. Doesn't look so bad right now. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and set the rest of my face aside from my eyes because I haven't put anything on my eyes yet. Or should I do my brows first? I'm telling you, I'm all over the place because I haven't done a video in so long and I just feel like I'm lost, honestly. <laughs> I forgot how to video, apparently. I know I'm going to curse myself out when I'm editing this because I seriously am all over the place when talking and bringing stuff up. It's like I get so distracted, it's like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, and I just move on to something else without even finishing my last thought. So anyway, back to it. I am going to powder my face and then with that same setting powder and then I will come right back. Okay, now I will say that made me look even paler, but um, I do know Fenty Beauty has different colors, different shades of setting powder. This one is butter, so it is more fair. It is really, really fine. I do like that. It doesn't look, it doesn't make my foundation look cakey. It works pretty well with the Laura Mercier. I just look ghostly, my God, what is wrong with me? Anyway, yeah, it does work really well with that foundation. So uh, now moving on to eyes. I am going to take the ColourPop No Filter Foundation or Concealer and put that on my eyes. Do I do my eyebrows first? Should I or should I do them after? I'll do them after. All right, I'm gonna take this in my mirror again. Oh, I probably used too much. Oh well. If I did, I'll just use it on the other eye. Now, with any concealer or um, eyeshadow primer, I've said it before, but you want to make sure you go up all the way to your brow because if you only do like your eyelid, then your your eyeshadow is going to have a very blunt line of where it stopped. It won't blend very well with the rest of your lid. So make sure you go all the way up if you plan on using eyeshadow anyway. I do like this concealer and I know that it's affordable. ColourPop is a very um, inexpensive, I should say, inexpensive cosmetic line. Okay, now that that is on there, um, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. Um, I've, again, I got a lot of this stuff I got a long time ago, I just haven't used it, so that's basically just giving me an excuse to use all this stuff all at once. I chose this one just because I think the colors are pretty and I'm feeling like it's very sunset-esque. And I could use some sun, so maybe I should go for something different. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, jokes aside with how Casper-like I look right now, I am going to start off with, I think, mm, I think I'm going to start off with this yellow, this mustard yellow color, and I'm going to work that in my crease and towards my brow bone. And for that, I am just taking the Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush and I'm going to dip that into that mustardy yellow, tap off the excess, and work that into the crease and toward the brow bone as I said.
After that, I'm going to go in with this corally orangish color down here in the bottom center, and I am using the same brush for that. I didn't like excessively clean the brush. There's still some yellow on there because I want it to blend together, so I'm not too terribly worried about having the yellow on there. So I'm, again, my phone, sorry. I'm gonna tap that tap into that coral, tap off the excess, and then work that right into the crease. Um, this can the concealer I like, I think I should have used more because I can still see the color of my lid poking through and I feel like I'm not getting enough color payoff from this palette. Now that I have that on there, I'm going to take this darker, um, like rusty brown, huh? rusty orange. It, it's orange, looks kind of brown on there, but yeah, it's an orangish brown. I'm gonna take that and put that on the inner and outer corners of both eyes. To do that, I am going to use the Farrah Brush 205 Fly Wings. I like this for the outer corner, not necessarily for this look, but this is a really good one to use if you want to do a wing, but you're not quite sure how to work um, liquid liner. This gives you a good start to where you can put your line, so you can put the shadow down first and then like just a light line of shadow and then you can just follow that line with um, your liquid liner. So if you're looking for that, this is Farrah 205 Fly Wings. Anyway, going into that like burnt orange color, tapping off the excess. I'm using this just because I'm going on my outer corner first. And I'm just going to try to pack that on. And I do want to kind of go upward. I will be using liquid liner. I'm leaving a small space in the center because that is where um, I'm going to put a shimmer. So I'm going to repeat this on this side and come right back. So I thought I was recording and I already put some on this side, but anyway, now that that is done, <laughs> I am taking this pretty um, like rose gold color in that bottom right hand side using my pinky and just dabbing that in the center of my lid. I really like that color. And my nails are trash, I know I am not a nail person so forgive me or just don't look at them as I put one on my eye, which is the focal point of this video. <laughs> so pretty. See, and I thought I was going to do yellow on my lid too, but it didn't work out that way. For the bottom lid, I think I will take, what will I do? I think I'm going to take the same bottom coral on the bottom lid and run that right along my waterline. Well, below my waterline, not on it. And I'm just using that same brush. I did clean it off, however. Just, I like this one because it is a nice tight brush so you can get right next to your waterline. All right, I'm gonna take a very small fluffy brush and dip into that yellow and try and smoke out that coralish color. Next, I am, ooh, what am I gonna try? I'm gonna try something, what am I trying? I've already used this before, so I know that I like it. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Gel Eyeliner, which I really, really, really like this eyeliner. I didn't have another, like, pencil liner, so this is just what I'm going for, and I'm going to line my top and bottom waterline, and then I'll come back. Okay, now before I do mascara, I'm gonna try the ColourPop Precision Brow Color. Um, I think I posted that I got this a while ago and someone commented, I did, I posted on Instagram that I got it a while ago and someone commented saying they hated it. So I do know that there's that opinion out there. But we'll see. Okay, I just have the, what is this? The Flawless Liner Brow by It Cosmetics. That's all this is. I'm going to dip into this. This is supposed to be, I think, like comparable to the ABH dip brow. I dip, I dipped into it just a little bit. I and we'll see. I don't know why they said they didn't like. Oh, that's dark. 
I don't know why they said they didn't like it. They didn't specify. They just said they hated it. By the way, my brows need, um, I can't talk and do this at the same time, apparently. My brows do need tweezed. I'm aware of this. They also need trimmed, but I haven't done it yet because it is nice to just wake up in the morning and throw a foundation on and just let my brows be my brows since they are fairly thick and long. But if I trim them, then obviously they don't look as full. Yeah, I don't know why they don't like it. It's not bad. Uh, maybe it's a little crusty. Maybe a little bit. But not really. I mean, I, I, it's, for a first impression, it's not bad. I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again just because I am focusing on my eyebrows right now. They are not the same. They never will be the same. They never were the same. Um, one side of my face has stronger muscles than the other side. So this side sits up higher than this side. It's just my face. So if you don't like it, um, I don't like it either, but um, this is what I've been blessed with or cursed with, either way you look at it. Oh, and I need to trim these so bad. They're awful. Okay, not bad. Um, moving on to highlighter. Let's do highlighter. I have the ABH Loose Highlighter in, what color is this? Snowflake, right? Yep, Snowflake. So I don't remember, it's been a long time since I bought this, so I don't remember what it looks like. This might not go at all with what I have on my face currently. So yes, I got Snowflake, and oh my gosh, just this packaging alone is so pretty. I don't know why I never use this. I have had this since it came out. Let me grab my regular highlighting brush. I don't know why I love this one so much, but I do. I don't even think it's a highlight brush. It's Morphe B13, but I love it for that, for whatever reason. All right, so I am going to, oh my goodness. Ooh, you can't see that. <laughs> Let me try it again. Oh, here we go. Let's go, all right. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that's gonna look crazy on my face. Let's do it! All right, I'm tapping in, I'm dipping in and tapping off as much as I can because I have a feeling this is going to go all over the place. You know what, let me get a smaller brush because that's not gonna work. I'm gonna use this little flat brush. Again, not, work, not for highlighter, but I'm just, there's no rules when it comes to makeup, right? Yeah, it doesn't really go that well, but it is pretty. It's a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Not chunky, but it's very much a glitter highlighter as opposed to like just a shimmer. You can definitely see the specks of the glitter in there. Big time. I do prefer more of a shimmer, just so it's not so, like, piecey. Is that what I'm looking for? Like, you can see the glitter pieces in there. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. But some people are. Some people love glitter, and that's what they go for. I just, my personal opinion. Um, I will probably use this, but I probably will use it more on my eyelids rather than using it as a highlighter. So I am going to take now my regular highlighting brush that I usually use, dip in, and do my cheeks, and see if it looks even better or worse on there. Yeah, it's very, Jesus, Louise. <laughs> Holy shiza. Damn. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a highlight. Holy crap. All right, let's do the other side. Like just when I tap it on, oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, if you like a highlight, this might be your girl. Holy moly. For me, it's a bit much, but if you like highlight, definitely get this one, because holy crap, that is very, very shimmery. That reflects the light really well. 
Okay, I'm gonna take that same highlighter brush and go, I forgot to do my nose. I don't like to do the tip of my nose because I don't see why people want their nose glowing, but to each their own. So I'm just, I like it right on the bridge. Just to give it that little illusion that it's thin because something on me should be. Um, <laughs> next, and almost last, I am going to try the Thrive Cosmetics. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, and again, I don't know why I haven't. I say again because I've said this in other videos. Again, I don't know why I have not tried this in the past. Um, I, I've been wanting to, and I finally have it. I got it in a, um, what did I get it in, BoxyCharm or Ipsy? I think it was Ipsy. So, and I've heard really good things about it, and I am going to be trying the Liquid Lash Extensions by Thrive Cosmetics. And by the way, it's C-A-U-S-E instead of like cosmetics instead of just C-O-S cosmetics. Anyway, the more you know. Ding. All right. Right off the bat, um, I don't know about this wand. It reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. But I do like that it's not chunky. It doesn't give a whole lot of product, it doesn't put a whole lot of product on the wand and immediately give you clumps. So that's cool. I think I will just, I'll wait and I'll do two coats on this side compared to nothing on this side and see what the difference is. Yeah, it looks good, I like it. I wouldn't say they're liquid extensions, but it's a good, it's a deep, it's a decent mascara. If you like something that gives a lot of volume, that's not this. It does give the length, for sure. Um, I'm curious to see how it wears throughout the day and see if it like transfers to my bottom lid, because I hate that when a, you know you find a good mascara that's like, oh, I love this, and then at the end of the day you look like a raccoon. You didn't even know it because nobody at work told you about it. I will say the wand is. The wand is good for those bottom lashes because it's small and again, not clumpy. So yeah, I I like this mascara. It's decent. I would definitely go in my everyday makeup bag. All right, um, what do we have? What else is left? Lips, that's right. Okay, so for lips, I do have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I'm, I don't think I've ever used this. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. It's hard to get open, so I'm guessing I haven't. Looks new, so no. All right, this is a n -n -n <laughs> this is a, na a nude color. Jeez Louise! I just kind of figured with the like my eyes look like fall theme, so why not use a nude, dark nude natural lipstick? And this is again by Ofra, long lasting liquid lipstick, and this is in Verona. It is a little dark for how, again, how pale my face is. So I think, let me find a like gold-ish type topper and I will be right back. Okay, so I have the um, ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. I've used this on top of a red lip, which came in a kit, I do believe, for the Snow White collection. This is Magic Mirror and it is just a gl gold glitter lip gloss. So I'm gonna put that on top of there. I have used this before, obviously, but I just wanted something different on my lips. It just looks too dark. So I'm going to make sure it's dry. Oh yeah. That's pretty. I don't know if you can tell it made any difference, but it did. Oh, I like it. I think the problem is my hair is not done. It looks like trash. Anyway, moving along. I think I've gone through everything. Yeah, I, I've covered everything. So just to recap, I used the Laura Mercier foundation. It, mm, it's okay. Um, I don't know that I'll use it daily. I guess I'll see how it wears today. And if I remember, I can do an update on this or write in the comments or something or ask me about it. Maybe ask me about it if I forget. Um, so yeah, that's, it's okay. It's a medium coverage. If you want something fuller coverage, then I definitely wouldn't get that one. Um, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, that is deep, that's good, I like it. Uh, I should have went harder on my eyelids, but oh well, it is what it is. I do like this, I will be using this again. Um, the bronzer, I wanna try with my normal foundation, cause I feel like I didn't, I don't know, maybe I should have used a brush with it, but I do wanna give that one another try. 
that again was the Huda Beauty. Uh, this isn't fair, by the way. This is the bronzer slash contour. Um, I do like the idea. Again, I do like the idea of a cream contour. I just, I need, I think I need a brush maybe. Anyway, all right. Um, highlighter. I wouldn't use that again for a highlight, I don't think. Um, but I will use it on my lids because that is really, really pretty. It's a really pretty glitter and holy crap, it catches the light really well, as you can see. The eyebrows, the ColourPop um, Bang and Brunette is the color. This, not bad. I will put that in my makeup bag. And I pr I'm pretty sure this was another inexpensive item. What else do I have? Oh, the Coral Obsessions. I do like the eyeshadow palette. I will be, I'll be using that again. Um, what else did I use? The setting powder. It's decent. I mean, I really, I'm really partial to the Jeffree Star one, so maybe after Jeffree Star is out, because he's always sold out, um, I'll probably use this one in between until I buy another one. The, what else do I have? Thrive's Cosmetics. That one, again, is going in my makeup bag. The sponges. Ooh, the sponges. I really do like these. And these are fairly affordable. Um, I honestly didn't think that I would like them just because I don't like, I liked, I used to like the Real Techniques ones and I feel like they changed what they're made of or they changed something about them because I don't know, they just, it, it doesn't feel the same as it used to a few years ago. But this one, I really do like these. These I will definitely be using. The lipstick, probably not gonna use it again unless I use it in the fall with a glitter topper, of course. And I think that's it. All right, um, as usual, if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment below and let me know. Um, Please follow me on all my social media. Everything is at Beauty by Bell. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.